help those who are disciplined and can save at least $500 per month to make their money grow. Investment options should be analyzed based on three parameters, liquidity, risk, and returns. Cash's liquidity is high because it is available when needed. Risk is low, returns are negative, but disciplined people can save at least $500 per month to make their money grow. The most important details are the top five investment options, how to pick the best one, and the bonus tip to make money grow. Number one, high yield savings accounts. You receive interest on your cash balance from a high yield online savings account. Furthermore, high yield internet savings accounts are accessible vehicles for your money, just like a savings account earning pennies at your local bank. Whom are they useful to? If you're going to require access to money soon, a savings account is a fantastic option. For investors who wish to minimize their chance of losing money, a high yield savings account is a good option. Risks, since the banks that provide these accounts are FDIC insured, you don't need to be concerned about your deposit being lost. Although high yield savings accounts, like certificates of deposit, are regarded as safe investments, you do run the danger of losing purchasing power over time due to inflation if rates rise. Benefits Online banks often provide substantially greater interest rates than traditional banks because they have lower overhead. Also, the funds are often accessible simply swiftly moving them to your main bank or perhaps even using an ATM. Where to find them? To find a high-yielding account, check out Bankrate's list accounts. of the best the only other option is a savings account, which is offered by banks and credit unions, albeit you might not obtain the best return. Number two, certificates of deposit with a short maturity. Certificates of deposit CDs are secure investments that provide a greater interest rate than savings accounts. They are useful for retirees who don't require immediate income and can lock their money away for a while. Risk-averse individuals should consider a CD if they need money quickly and are willing to lock up their cash in exchange for a higher yield than they would get from a savings account. CDs come with the risk of reinvestment, which can lead to losses if investors reinvest their principal and interest in new CDs with lower interest rates. However, with rates anticipated to increase even further in 2023, sticking with short-term CDs may make sense so that you can reinvest at higher rates in the near term. As an alternative, banks and credit unions frequently offer CDs, but it's unlikely that you'll find the cheapest rate close to home. Number three, bonds from Series I. Overview, the Series I bond, a more and more popular choice, is a savings bond offered by the U.S. Treasury to individual investors. Inflation protection is incorporated into this bond. A component depending on the inflation rate is added after paying a basic interest rate. Because of this, the dividend also increases as inflation does. Contrarily, if inflation decreases, interest rates will also go down. Each six-month period, the inflation adjustment is reset. Bonds from the Series I series, like other government-issued debt, appeal to conservative investors who don't want to take any chances with default. Investors who want to ensure their investment against inflation might consider these bonds as a suitable choice. Series I bonds are among the safest in the world, and if redeemed for cash within 30 years, they will continue to earn interest. Number four, short-term corporate bond funds. Companies occasionally issue bonds to investors as a way to raise capital. These bonds can then be pooled together into bond funds that could potentially hold bonds from hundreds of different companies. With an average maturity of one to five years, short-term bonds are less subject to interest rate changes than intermediate or long-term bonds. Risk-averse investors may benefit from short-term corporate bond funds, which are composed of top-notch corporate bonds. Investment-grade short-term bond funds offer higher returns than municipal and government bond funds, but come with more risk. Number five, income stock funds. Dividends, which are normally distributed to shareholders on a quarterly basis, are sums of a company's profit that can be paid out to shareholders.
Thus, dividend stocks yeah. are those stocks Not all stocks do, while a fund only includes dividend stocks in a single convenient unit. Who are they useful to? For intermediate and experienced investors, buying individual stocks, whether they pay dividends or not, is a preferable option. To lower your risk, you can purchase a number of them in a stock fund. Dividend stock funds are an excellent option for virtually any type of stock investor, but they may be preferable for those seeking income. Individuals who can invest longer term yet require income. Investing in dividend stocks carries risk. So choose those with a track record of dividend increases instead of those with the highest current yield. Dividend stocks can help reduce dependence on one firm and increase your investment through long-term market growth and earn money quickly. Dividend-paying stocks can make stock market investments safer and increase returns through long-term market growth and short-term cash earnings. For more videos, just stay tuned to our channel. Till then, bye.